Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. And you know what? I am terrible at intros. I am an introvert. I suck at them. So you know what? Here's an envelope reveal. Let's go over Canva and let's do this. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is go into your elements and get you an envelope. So the envelope I used was this one right here, a brown envelope cutout. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, for right now, I'm gonna grab one of these. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to download it. So this is a video format. So I am going to go into download. I'm going to go over here and change this to PNG to make sure it is a photo. And then I'm going to download it. Once it is downloaded, I'm going to come over here. We're going to wait till it goes up and the little circle thing does this little Tommy thing. And oh, once that's done and you'll see this little bar disappear, we can drag and drop it into our background remover, which is remove BG. That's what I use all the time for everything. It works out pretty good for me. Um, I don't know when you're doing this kind of background remover, how well Canva is for it. So let's drag this in here like so. And once we're in here, I'm going to go into edit. I'm gonna go into Erase and Restore. I'm gonna hit Erase. I'm gonna knock my brush size down a little bit. This is very intuitive. So it's got this magically Erase and Restore part, this auto detect thing. It works awesome a lot of times. So all you really have to do is kind of get close to what you want. And a lot of times it'll just take it out for you. You don't have to go and do any of that fine tuning stuff. Just kind of get close to what you want. And it'll usually, it's perfect for it. As you can see, that is just choice. That's exactly what you want. Now we're going to hit the download button. So I'm going to download that image. I am going to come back over to Canva. So now that I have that rolling, what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and set me a background up. And I want to set that as a background. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this right here and I'm going to put it sideways and I'm going to get it what size I want. So let's make it a little bit smaller. You can put it on an angle. You can do whatever you want to. You can go into, uh, I would do color mix because if you want to change the color of the envelope, because just because it looks, it, kind, it still shows the grain and everything to it. My computer's kind of slow. So I won't show you that right now because it is just terribly slow and it's, yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this. And what I want to do is I'm going to go all the way up here to that line. See the line that's right there. I'm going to go to this line here. And then what I'm going to do on this one, I am going to take that line all the way to here. And this is so we can do our flap effect. And then I'm going to line it back up. Make sure it's lined over. If you need to hit your little arrow keys at the bottom to give it a good little bump to make it look like the seam of the flap. And then what you want to do is you're going to take your cutout piece that you just made and you're going to lay that over top. So we're going to line this up and then we're going to line it up over top. Let's get us. I don't know why they do that when it removes the background. It's like all that extra space. So what I want to do is line this up as best as possible over top. Like so. Mm -hmm. And give me just a little bit more. Yes, I'm slow on this. So now I have the top of my envelope. So now I want to do my photos. So what I did with my photos is what I did is I just get them and I'm going to size them to what I want to fit in here. So if you want them like big, you want them, you want them, so you want them, I try to use frames, but they wound up being kind of weird. Um, it, the animation didn't work as great with frames than without. So what I did is I just picked kind of 
got these, size them down, and try to make them the same, the same size. And I just layered them on top of each other. Let's just do like three for now, just for showing technique. And this one can go out a little bit further like so. And then I didn't group them. I just did that so I could put them here and they fit in here. And if you need them, oh, I put, made them a little too small. Let's give them a little more size. Put them a little more size in there. And then I fit them in my envelope. Now I'm going to go into position, layers, and I am going to put this piece over the top. Come on, go to the top. I want to put this over top. So now you can see like your photos are in there. If I grabbed a photo like that and ooh, 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 ooh. So that's my photos that are in there. And now I'm going to do the little trick with my lit, lit, lit flap, flap, lip, whatever you want to call it. So what I did, we go in here and flip it. We're going to flip it vertical. I am going to put it down here like and match it up and I'm going to move it above like so now it's closed. Then I'm going to duplicate the page. I'm going to duplicate the page. I'm going to flip it back. I'm going to put it here like so. And then this for your match and move, what you want to do, we're going to go in here, use our match and move. You want to take this duration down to 0.1. The reason why you want to take it down to 0.1 is because if you do it any slower, it if you try it out, you'll see why. It just does not work. It's got to be super fast. So that's, there you go, your flip open. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate our page. We're going to go into position. We're going to move our flap down. Now that we have our flap down, what we can do is grab our first picture. And what you want to do is move it wherever you want to. Now, be careful when if you try to go upward because the match and move will go this way. So you want to make sure if you do move upward that it's on an angle that will not go above here like this. And then you'll see it come out. So you can go up some, but I wouldn't go up too far because if you went up like here, it's just going to go boom. And you're, you're going to see your little hidey, your little thing right there. So we're going to go over a little bit. We're going to give it a little bit of a bump. And then what you want to do is you want to take your next one that you're going to put out and put it above that. So when it slides out, it's going to go on top of this one. So you, you know that's your next one. So let's go and do our match and move for this and turn it all the way up. And then we'll duplicate that page. Go into position, position. We're going to grab our next one. We're going to go and slide that out like so. See, now it's going to go on top. If you don't do that, it's going to slide underneath. And then I'm going to take the next one and I'm going to put it up on top like so. I am going to go and I'm going to duplicate the page. My match and move, as you see, is not traveling with me. So that's, it's always nice when it does. And if you want to, you can do a half one sticking out. You can go and put this one over like so. You can make them go in little lines oh that's gonna look weird because i moved that one out of position but that's okay y'all get the gist of what's going on so now we're gonna see what we got i was goofy and i moved one so it's gonna look weird it might it might do a little jiggle on us let's take our match and move all the way across if you want to do match and move up here and apply between all pages make sure you go back to this first one right here and put it down to 0 0.01 so let's look and see what we have. So we got, bam, it opens up, it goes out, and they fly out, and you can change it. Oh, I actually liked a little bit of the slide when it when the next one comes out. Kind of like that. That kind of looked cool. Um, just me personally. Um, let me check this a little bit. Um, so the next part that I did, I'm sorry, my it's very echoing here. My mic kind of sucks. Is I duplicated the second page. And then I went and put that at the end. And then I duplicated the first page. And I took that one and put it at the very end. So I want to check this match and move and do like the last one. I want to put it down to 0 
and I want to put the regular match and move in between these two. And that should have them all go back in and close the lid. So we're going to look from this middle point here and we're going to go in those, they go back in and slams it shut. And that's how you do that trick. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for being patient with me. I love you guys. I will see you on the next one. Peace, love, happiness, and the whole life world, please.